Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Black Twitter, you are literally reacting to our Independence Day, y'all. If you don't know what happened, you need to go see, after you watch this video, the Alabama, the mobile Alabama brawl, baby like Jamie That's Me said, mm, gump town, stand up. If you guys don't know what happened, right? There was a kindly, respectful security guard that went over to a boat filled with redneck people, right? So he went over to them. I'm gonna give y'all the recap and then we're gonna talk about Black Twitter's reactions. And I got two videos for y'all. I guarantee you haven't seen. It's gonna have you dying. All right. So really quick, what happened? If you haven't seen the video, I'm not getting demonetized, right? I, I need to pay for help these people with their GoFundMes. Also, if anybody knows, well, I'll talk about that later. Okay, anyway, somebody walks into the boat, right? The security guard who happened to be black walked up to the boat. There was about, I don't know, 58, 11 rednecks on the boat. And he was like, excuse me, sir, could you kindly move your boat? The rednecks spit out their tobacco and was like, this here is the sun downtown, boy. And the security guard was like, um, beg your pardon? Seriously, they got mad disrespectful to him. Then you see the security guard, because there's no sound. All you see is like the body language. And the security guard was like, my dude, like there is a giant like harbor ferry carrying like 400 people that need to dock and your boat needs to move. Now they thought they was really gully because one of the people that were being, had a lot of bass in their voice was a woman who is actually the governor of Arkansas's sister. I know, we'll see how that's going to turn out, okay? She's the one that got hit on the chair with the chair, but I'm getting ahead of myself, right? So anyway, we go, should I stop the story and talk about Marlon Wayans is on the internet raccooning? We'll talk about that. He literally criticized the people that stuck up for the security guard talking about why can't we just all show love? Baby, ain't no love when I'm getting beat down. If you don't jump over that fence and come help me. Anyway, so after that, all the rednecks got real goalie like we said this here's a sundown town and got goalie in his face and then he, they said something to him he took off his hat threw it in the air like it's up what's up like you know knuckled up one of the white boys because you know rednecks right when they're in a group they get mighty mighty bold don't they when they're by themselves they you know you can tell in their eyes they don't appreciate it but when they're by themselves yeah he got when they they get really quiet but when they're around other people oh baby he got bold 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 and literally rushed them the funny thing is the security guard has some hands and said oh what's up he literally got him slap chopped him gripped him up like thanos right this is security guard First guy, ripped him up like Thanos, they was getting into it. And then the melee started. All the rednecks jumped on this one security guard. When I say they were beating him down, I actually thought they were gonna hurt him. When the video first started, I was really worried they were gonna hurt him. One guy in salmon shorts came running, drop kicked him. He must have been a like wrestling in high school or something. You know that fool didn't go to college. Anyway, right? literally drop kicked him running kneed him then took his whole body weight wrapped it around him and flipped it over then when they were trying to drag dude off of the security guard because people got involved like you're gonna hurt him he literally tried to put him in a headlock with his thighs it was on some ugh, right so anyway they somehow thought while this was going on they were surrounded by a bunch of black people let me get this straight. This is Alabama, mobile Alabama, if I'm not mistaken. You are surrounded by black people. You are on some Jim Crow, ada, 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 this, that, and a third mess. And you somehow think in your entire mind that you were going to just brutally beat somebody down and wasn't any other black people. You are surrounded wall to wall by black people. Anyway, the ancestors heard our call. And they jumped in actions. One of them came from the air, whoosh, and went to this 16 year old young bull who jumped in the water and swam like Aquaman. He was like a shark. Swam in the water. 
jumped up on the deck soaking wet. All this happened in seconds. He was unstoppable, y'all. I don't know who that kid is. They say he's 16. If some high school or college doesn't recruit him, if the Olympics doesn't go after him to be a professional swimmer, baby, he has talent. The ancestors transported into his body. Whoosh! He came forward, jumped up. Now it was two against one. He literally started body rocking him. Like, what's up, what's up, what's up? All of a sudden, everything opened up. It was like, it was like the ancestors possessed everybody came back simi are you ready whoosh transported into everybody's souls baby when i say they ran up there the first mistake was seeing if you let me just say this i know i have title tells black white puerto rican haitian asian let me give you some advice if you see people skipping towards you with their shirt off baby and they're not smiling not giggling Baby, you better run the next direction because you about to get body rocked. They jumped on those guys and molly whopped them. Bah, 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 bah. It sounded like a Jamaican dance hall. And it was so satisfying to see because they really tried to hurt that man when he was being so respectful. And the way they did it, the audacity of doing it while he is surrounded by his brethren, they really thought this was a time to kill all over again. I'm talking about the one with Phineas, the lawyer, Atticus Finn with the lawyer and stuff. Anyway, right? You know, the, the movie. Anyway, um, then the other white boys decided the rednecks who decided they were going to jump in and rush them, rush them. Maybe it was the wrong mistake because they got descended on by the masses. The ancestors have smiled. And let's get into what Black Twitter had to say because baby, and there's a few funny video response videos <laughs> that I thought was so funny. The highlight, the unsung hero was the dude with the chair he looked like he, the dude with the chair that was just swinging it around like he just like he just don't care he went crazy he went crazy and baby it was a good good one listen let's get into this First of all, let's look at the video from the guy doing the chair. He was molly whopping everyone like da da da, da 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 da, da 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 da. Love this guy. All right, where's the chair one? I gotta show you that first, because if you remember, he was swinging the chair, protecting everyone, anybody. He literally heard like punks jump, punks jump up to get beat down. He was just protecting everybody. So you know, Black Twitter had to immediately run to the web and actually make a joke out of it. Here we go. Hold on. Where is it at? Call it cheer. After jutsu. witnessing my brothers and sisters take arm in the battle of Montgomery, I knew that I had to be prepared myself. Pulling out old Betsy, I practiced my chair jutsu. I haven't used this skill in years. As the last time I used it, I sent four people to the hospital with concussions. Their brains turned to jelly. It's a daily skill passed down from hood master to hood master. Baby daddy to baby daddy. It's a powerful skill. When thrown, the chair can cause riots and get the most sane person into a frenzy. But it's necessary. And I will be ready. Okay. So that was the chair, but there were so many comments about it because we got to talk about the comments. Okay. Ooh, sorry, y'all. So where are the comments for this chair? Because, baby, they were they were many. They were a plenty. Oh, here we go. Right? So first comments they had was, See, when they saw Black Aquaman swim toward them like Jaws, they should have known. Somebody else said Sunday, August 6th is now officially known as the Doc Civil War. And I feel like it needs a documentary and a backstory at this point. Next year, we better get to commemorating it somehow. Forget Juneteenth. We, well, we'll keep Juneteenth, but we going, what, August, what is it, 6th? Somebody said, y'all cried for months about the Black Little Mermaid. Now you got to deal with Black Aquaman. Another person said, nah, everyone keeps discussing the chair. 
Are y'all forgetting the girl being tossed in the water? Y'all, they was giving work to this girl that tried to come in and jump in. They made light work of her. And then because she was just in a way, because you know, they was giving work to the guys, like real work. They literally pushed her off the pier and she tumbled like a sack of potatoes in the water. Y'all, literally. Somebody said, this one is really wild. The security man throwing his hat WWE style. The boy's arrival in the water. The swimmer fighting the water because he was going in. The guy with the WWE chair, that was that was your unk going ham. The Avengers by He was a uh, vibe. The camera woman and her commentary. Gladly, no one came out with a firearm. Tam said... The fact this is, but oh, this is deep. The fact that that was once a slave dock and the boat they were on is called Harriet definitely makes this an ancestral beating. Definitely makes this ancestral beating sensational. One person said on a picture of Jay Z on the uh, on the what do you call it the um, uh, motorsport? What do you call it? Oh my God, I can't think. What do you call this? Jet ski. On the jet ski said, me making my way down to the Delaware River to help the, the people in Alabama. Another guy said, this is the picture I've had up. On my way to Cracker Barrel to celebrate August 5th, 2023, he had a shirt made of the Duke Gift. <laughs> Why is that funny? If you know Cracker Barrel, you know. Somebody said that baby was 16 years old. One, no wonder he had the strength to swim and march straight in a battle. He full of nothing but teenage hormones, hot Cheetos, and young boy NBA lyrics. Another person said, do you understand how much stamina is required to swim at that speed? Lift yourself that high off the water and deliver a fade? Y'all, listen. They also found out the identity of the guy. He operates a vast or mini market, RIP to his mini mart. They said, um, they, so now they're calling it fade in the water. Also, uh, they said my favorite part was when dude put that sister in a headlock and that same dude that swam over lit his tail up good. Old school knocked him out with one punch and an Aquaman fished him. Y'all. They, they they really thought they was going to win this fight. They really thought it was Mobile, Alabama, 1952. And everybody was just going to lay down and let them do what they do. Y'all, this is ridiculous. They said, I love how they came by land and sea to protect that king looking like the Justice League. And somebody said, do y'all know how much of a win this is for us? This is the same exact spot where they separated our families and sold us to other slave owners. I'm not even kidding. Another person said, put this chair in the Hall of Fame. Oh, the National uh, Monument for African American History. <laughs> somebody said, for those that don't know, if you're involved in a brawl like this, that's right. And a shirtless black man you don't know start skipping towards the fight, vacate immediately or risk getting jumped. They said August 6th versus January 6th. Black power. Y'all listen. Somebody said Hollywood said we don't strike. Black people said F it. We'll do it live. Another person said, yo, they... They said the black man swimming for such a distance just to come fight should have been a sign for white folks to run. This was a met. They said it was that chair was summoned by Thor's hammer. They said all he had to do was raise his hand righteously. This is when people are wondering where the chair came from. Another person said God may not come when you need him, but he's always right on time. He's on time, God. Oh, yes, he is. Y'all, listen. You know, the funniest commentary that I heard about this that really had me dying. Let me find this video. Because this guy wasn't playing. This went worldwide. It wasn't. This went worldwide. It wasn't just black people um, joining in and knowing this was right. We had a lot of allies. But before we get to these allies, can we talk about Damon Wayne's? Why did, is it the Damon Wayne's? Damon Wayans had the nerve to criticize any of this happening. 
he said we no, i'm sorry not damon wayne's marlon wayne said we should have been on some kumbaya love Ba 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 ba, baby. We already tried that in 1960 to 1970. It didn't work. We on some new stuff. Get out of here. I don't know what in you saw people you should sympathize with with those rednecks that were going crazy on that security guard. But no, baby, they did everything they needed to do and more because they sent a lesson home. Bet you next time you see somebody with melon and you'll think, hmm, 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 right? My Marlon Wayne's talking about can't we just all show love? Shut your cool like anyway. Getting back into the fun, lighthearted stuff. Let's get actually into the videos. Hold on, let me pull this video. Okay, I found the video and this is the best one I've seen yet. Are y'all ready for this? Listen. The fight, greatest piece of cinema I've ever seen. Honestly, some of the best, just best action sequences all around. When that dude, when that security guard is being eight on one by the shirtless uh, rednecks, and then a dude jumped into the water to swim across from a boat to the dock to, to even the odds, because he sees eight on one, and he's like this one security guard having the shit beat out of him by shirtless rednecks. One of them came running in and gave a fucking running knee in salmon shorts. Like, these are bag of shit, shirtless, drunk rednecks attacking a lone black security guard. And this one dude jumps in and swims across. The crowd reacts the same way in Avengers Endgame when you hear Falcon go, on your left, and the portals open. The crowd watching this just went, oh my god, we can be involved too. And it goes from... It goes on eight on one to like 46 on eight. And then a dude has a chair. He's just smashing people. It's like the Hulk. He's just smashing people with a chair. They all deserve the belt. Everyone deserves the belt. Even the shitty cops. Because the cops are like, I kind of don't want to stop this. They're like, when chair dude gets the one shot on the down lady, they're like, okay, we have to arrest you on camera. And they're mad about it. They're like, damn, dude, you were so cool until you hit that lady and she was down. Until that moment, they were like, oh, no. But yeah, greatest fight I've ever seen. It's uh, it's it's a little bit on TikTok, but it's it's go to YouTube for this one. Alabama riverboat fight. I can, there are multiple angles. So many people. And there's a DJ playing in the background the whole time. Top 10, top 10 internet like big old brawls I've ever seen. I loved it. Incredible. See, listen, all I gotta say is 2023 is the year of F around and find out. And those Forrest Gump looking right F around and found out. Y'all listen, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.